I am finally diving head first into Middle Eastern fragrances. I was like, you know what? Everybody's talking about uh, Middle Eastern fragrances. So I was like, you know what? Let me just take a little time and, you know, see what's out there. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. The first one we have comes from Latafa and I have no one to blame but Coco Pebs for this one. This is Nebras. First of all, like the packaging is a really, really nice. I, I was like a little shocked at how this was. Um, I did put the fragrances back in the box so I can give you the whole presentation. This is just a haul, okay? It's not my full thoughts and opinions, okay? So I just wanna let y'all know. But this is how it comes. And Nebra's Coco Pebs really sold me on this one. She posted it on her IG stories, right? And I was like, what's up with it? How you liking it? She sent me a whole voice note. First of all, her voice. I'm just like, ah, ah, does it to me every time. But she was like, go ahead, get it, sis. And I was like, say less, okay? So I finally took the plunge and decided to get a bottle. And I can tell you right now, she ain't lying. <laughs> she ain't lying. This is vanilla and berries. Oh my God. Coco, you did not steer me wrong with this one. I, spoiler alert, I love it, okay? This one was a unexpected surprise in the best type of way. Now, I did hear people saying that it smells like Billie Eilish, uh, the one in the gold bottle. I personally didn't like it. When I did hear the comparison for it, I was like, oh God, I don't, I really don't, I don't like that one. But this one is something about the berries where I was just like, yeah, girl, this, this the one. So thank you, Coco, because that one, she been, she been clocking in and I've been enjoying it. The rest of these I got from TikTok because you know, TikTok and Middle Eastern fragrances go together real bad. I purchased from Aroma Concepts, but the actual makers of these are from Paris Corner. So the first one I got was Kisa Pink. And this has had a little bit of talk. It's supposed to be like um, Latafa Yara. Speaking of Latafa, Latafa, if you didn't know, they finally are opening a um, US uh, site to order uh, their fragrances. I did place the order, so I do have a large Latafa um, haul coming pretty soon. This is how it looks. Obviously, it's gonna be some sort of girly fragrance. And off top, I can tell you, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This has like an apple and coconut at the top. I don't think I like that that combination because to me, it smells like coconut water with applesauce blended into it. And mm -mm, like the girls are like, oh, this is what I wanted Yada to smell like. And I'm like, I don't have Yada, so. Hopefully, I don't hate that one too, but right now I'm not liking this one. But again, something else, the girls were saying, you gotta let the these fragrances sit. It's supposed to smell like the pink drink from that uh, place we no longer support. I remember having the pink drink and I wasn't a fan of that either. So makes sense <laughs> that I'm not a fan of this one. So I was just like very underwhelmed. I just, I just didn't like how my stomach was feeling when I smelt it. I was like, oh no, girl, that ain't for me. So moving right along, we got um, Teskeen and this is peach tea. Now this fragrance is the literal like definition of peach tea. So this is the bottle. I actually love the texture of this bottle. Like it's almost like kind of rubbery but I like it a lot. This is literally peach iced tea in perfume form. And I really, really like it. Like it's simple. It's simple, it's strong. 
And peach, I'm discovering, is a very hard note for me. I don't have a lot of peach fragrances in my collection. This doesn't give me like peach rings. It doesn't give me bitter peach, like that boozy or brown sugar peach. It doesn't give me any of that. This is probably the most enjoyable peach that I've smelled. And I really, really like it. I think because it just reminds me of a, of a peach Arizona iced tea, 99 cents. <laughs> I think they changed it to 125. I'm a little upset by that. But this one was a really, really good pick. I was just like, oh wow, this really smells like peach iced tea. Like those, the song that started playing in my mind was uh, from Khalees. You're my sugar honey iced tea, baby. Hey. Just as sweet as could be. Your mama must be made of sugar. Your daddy makes honey. And that just makes sense to me. Oh. Ah, oh, damn, Khalees. They, they ain't want it with the girl. But, <laughs> yo, I really, really enjoyed it. I can't wait to the springtime to really, really rock it. I think I'll be able to rock it in the summer because it's not sickening like sweet. So, it's refreshing. Just like a, a glass of peach tea, like, but it's sweetened. It's sweetened, okay? <laughs> but not sweet tea, that's disgusting. From the same um, Tuskeen line, we got Marina. And Marina, hold on, let me show you the bottle real quick. These are sisters. And so I was like, okay, let's, let's try this one out. And you know, they have the same kind of bottle. This one is transparent. So I was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. Marina is giving Marina. It's giving this light, airy, aquatic, but fruity nature. And I don't know how I feel about it yet because this one was very interesting. I was like, oh, okay. Definitely not juvenile, but there's a freshness to the fruit and I'm not sure how I feel about it right now. And it's just like, huh, it smells very clean. So this would be good for hot weather. Like once I smelled this, I was like, this is definitely hot summer day. You know, you still want to get a fruity nature to it, like what you're wearing, but you don't want to feel like sick and sweet and syrupy and you know how that vibe all goes. So I was like, okay, I think we could work with this one. You know, so this one was different. Like I'm I'm really on the fence about this one. Out of everything that I purchased, this one I was the most on the fence about. It's like, it's nice. Do I need it though? Do I need, oh well, girl, we, we all know we don't need it. I don't need anything. <laughs> but yeah, it's just very clean. And I do love a, a clean fragrance. So I'm just trying to see like, what can I really layer it with to amp up? that fruitiness because I feel like the fruitiness is there but I want it to come forward a little bit more I think that's my issue with it is like it's not on in the forefront I get like all of the waves going and like that watery marine aquatic vibe but I'm not getting as much fruit as I would like you know so that one she's up in the air but it's a it's a decent like for right now and my final one i just knew i had to try now y'all know i'm not into dupes okay i i it's it's just not my thing but i bought this one specifically because i'm running out of the one that is uh, this is supposed to be a dupe for and i already showed the bottle this is cayer from paris corner beautiful box if you can tell by the box it's supposed to be a dupe of kaoli yum pistachio which child i've i'm almost done with that bottle but absolutely stunning bottle like i love how this bottle looks if i had to change anything it would be this cap i would want it a little bit weightier but Spoiler alert, number one, I love it. <laughs> number two, it's definitely like 97% accurate. Uh-huh, 
Uh-huh. I freaking love it. I already have a dent in it, but it's because I had to decant it. I literally wore this. I think it was like my second time wearing it. And my homegirl surprised me and she was in town. And she's like, girl, like, what do you have on? And I'm like, I'm testing the new fragrance. I'm testing. She's like, I love it. And that's my homegirl from who lives in Boston. So if she says she loves something, she loves something. So she's very particular in the fact that she she was like, that is gorgeous. So I made her a, a 10 ml decant. So I do technically have a dent in this. But show if they're doing dupes like this, I'm, I, 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 I might have to. I might have to stand 10 toes down behind dupes. And I'm not even that kind of girl, but I did not need to let it sit. This was performing straight out the gate. I do get more of a cotton candy vibe at the base, but the opening, remember when I was talking about like that artisanal soap that Kayali was giving me? I get it in this one, definitely in the opening. And then we get into the yummy, yummy goodness that is that fragrance. But I could tell you right now, oh my God, that one smells good. Actually, I'm smelling this with the peach tea. <laughs> it's, the two of them together are doing something right now. So I might have just stumbled on a layering combination. Holds on now. Uh, I think this hand is good. Something. Okay, let you, come on, let you, did I just? Interesting. I don't know. Maybe I did something. Maybe I didn't. That's weird. We gonna, we gonna um, figure all that out. But I'll definitely be doing dedicated videos. More than likely, I'll be doing some sort of comparison because you get two for one, you know. But let me know. If you have any of these, let me know how they've been treating you thus far because I, I like to know that information. But check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.